Joel with us this morning on his all radio. Right. Awesome. Good morning. We've kind of been talking all morning about how you have awesome hair. Oh, thank and, you. And Blanca is going to be joining us, and she no, has she awesome has hair. Triple awesome hair. <laughs> yes, she's her hair is amazing. We can't be in the same room together because we get tangled. <laughs> <laughs> We're like Velcro. Hey, don't tease us now. Mm. That was but, a hair joke. Sorry. Oh, that <laughs> oh, was pretty good. bad. Thank you. I like that. Wow. I have to point out my joke. You did have to point bad. it out. It took me a second. <laughs> I know, Jeez. right? We'll brush that one off. Oh. oh yes. Okay, that's all. That's all. Yes. <laughs> good, Jim. Thank you. Cut it out. Okay. Oh. <laughs> okay. okay, that's stupid. We've all got our dumb jokes. Okay, so. sorry. Okay. But um, you haven't really cut your hair, changed your hair too much no. in since you were like 16 or something. I washed it, though. You wash it. Yeah, I washed it once. Yes. So, yeah. It was 1999 I washed it. Um, yeah, no, I, I, I haven't changed my hair. No. Should I? I guess I should, right? Well, I don't is that know. what you're trying you, to say, Alison? I'm just wondering, what, is there a story behind it? Are you particularly attached to um, your hair? Do you see it as your brand? Uh, no, no. I've threatened, I've threatened to cut it off before, and my kids just start crying. I've also threatened to grow a beard. I tried once, but it just turned into these little whiskers, and my kids, the same thing, burst into tears. No, Daddy. I said, I'm going to be like the blonde Santa Claus. And they just won't, <laughs> they wouldn't go with it. <laughs> so it's, it's really, I don't know, my kids wouldn't recognize me, I think, mm. if I cut my hair off. Mm -hmm. Do you have a lot of products? The day will come. Um, products? Um, my wife sort of issues me with different things from time to time and says, put this in that mop and sort of you know tame it but no uh -huh. i just go to sleep and wake up and it looks beautiful and it's i don't know if it's beautiful Elson, <laughs> but it's kind of more like a weed i think <laughs> oh, weed. i never heard of hair described as weed before not what? weed weed just weeds like weeds, weeds. like right. multiple weeds yes yeah. yes good <laughs> yeah oh yeah if i say it's... the other weed it means something different right. doesn't Untamed. it and i didn't mean it that way mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's so cool that I love about your family, Joel, mm. is that, Phil Joel, is that uh, you have this theater, I think, that your kids mm. have put together. Yes. Yeah. Um, well, we kind of we kind of do, like, what we find is really fun right now is, you, you know, with education, it's a little bit, um, you know, you can sort of pick your path a little bit, you mm -hmm. know, and so we're sort of doing a bit of a homeschool this here and then taking classes there and then which allows them to travel with me a little bit, you know, so... Um, so they're doing all kinds of different things um, in their educational uh, endeavors. And one of the things that, um, that my wife started was a theater company. This is just recently. a theater, uh, And it's really student kind of run. There are a number of parents that sort of, you know, make uh, head up the departments. But the kids really do this whole thing. And so we have a show um, coming up, The Wizard of Oz, in, in a couple of weeks. So, And you're, are you in it? I'm not in it because it's student, um, you know, it's, it's kids doing this thing. Okay. Um, really talented kids, but I'm, you know, I'm, I'll help. I'm, I'm one of the parents. You're one so, of the parents. Yes. Are you like set designer? Are you? Yeah, I've helped with some of the set designing and, and building. Um, and, uh, yeah. And on, and on tech week, I will help. I'll dress up in black and I'll run around the stage and, you know, try and be that inconspicuous guy that moves sets around and, you know. That has to be cool for you and Heather and your family doing this together. Like oh, that. we love it. Yeah, yeah, it's really fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And yeah. what parts do your kids play? Uh, my daughter is Glinda. Mm -hmm. Glinda the Good Witch. And um, come out, come out. You know that whole song? <laughs> yeah. Wherever, Wherever you, you are. are. And yeah. meet the young lady. lady who fell from a star. Well done, Elsa. <laughs> yeah. Excellent. She tries to do what's with a lot of people. <laughs> no, <it's good. laughs> yeah, I do. I just got Phil Joel marked off. <laughs> really? <laughs> good. Um, and uh, my son is one of the munchkins. He's in, you know, he's in the munchkin scene where they present uh, uh, Dorothy with the uh, some kind of an award, right? Isn't that how it works? I yeah. I'm kind of cool. thinking this works for me. <laughs> yeah, she's more, more sincerely dead, that whole bit, right? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> If you were in it, what part would you want to play? I'd be the lion. That's what uh -huh. I would oh, yeah. Play. Yep. yeah, you're right. I wouldn't need a costume. It'd be great. <laughs> it is Phil Joel with us this morning from Zealand Worship. And coming up in less than 10 minutes, Blanca, right here on his radio.